Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tips. So in today's video, we'll be talking about scopes in Laravel. So there are two types of scopes, local scopes and global scopes. First, we'll be talking about local scopes and then we'll move to global. So what are scopes? Scopes are basically simple query builder methods like where, as you can see here, as where, order by, that we can create ourselves by using some special syntax that Laravel provides and we can reuse them throughout our application wherever we can access a model. So let's jump into it. So I'll be continuing from my previous video and if you haven't watched my previous video then you can watch that and again watch this video. So in, from my previous video I have added quantity and views two different columns and if we see in the database I have seeded some 20 datas here. So what we want to show is only active products. Okay? Now, how can we accomplish that? So first of all, I'll show you without using scopes and then using scopes. So let's go to the code and in the home controller, let me remove this and we can do is return product where active is equal to one here it is stored as one or zero. Also we can pass it one or we can pass two. That's your choice. So if we do get here, so now we are returning a product where is active is true and getting the results. And if I go to the browser here and refresh the page here, now you can see here is active is true. So in all the results, you can see here, all those are active. Yeah, only active results we are getting. And if I pass false here and return, so you can see here all the is active false is being shown. So wherever in our application, if we want to show the active products, then we always have to write this code, but we can make it simple using scopes. So let's see how to create any scope. So we are getting active as a, we only want to get active products, which is this product yeah and we have to go inside the product okay so which is inside app model and products okay now here we can define a scope like this public function our scope will always start with scope yeah and now what we can give it a name we can give it a name as we only want to show active so let us give it a name as like this so this scope active will receive one parameter by default okay so it's query so this is the query builder this product query builder which we will be getting here now what we can do is return query where active is equals to true so we are defining a scope and giving a name as active and whenever we apply this scope it will only it will filter the products and only give us the active results now how to use that we can replace this with active okay we should we don't need to write this scope we only need to write anything that is after the scope so the first letter here you can see here the it's a capital letter here but you can use capital or small letter because the methods in php are case insensitive so you can use either capital letter or small letter so it doesn't matter but keep in mind that we should not use this scope okay so laravel does uh, some magic inside and it makes the active method available within the product now if I go here and you can see here all are false. Now if I refresh the page, now look here. I can see all the products that have is active is true. So just to show you, I'll comment this out and there is no scope query. And if I, let's say if I refresh the page here, now you can see here, call to an undefined method active, yeah. So, and if I comment uncomment this, then the active method will be available within the method. And if I refresh the page, 
all those will be available now wherever we want to use um, or find the active products then we don't need to do where is active is equals to true we don't need to know anything about the database structure of our project we just need call the method active and it will get all the products that are active okay similarly now we want is every product that has the quantity greater than zero okay uh, let's say we want to show in our website that all the active products and all those products that have some quantity so that they could buy that so any product with the quantity zero we should not show because we don't have the product and we should not let users buy that yeah so we will not be showing those products so what we can do is here now create another scope scope and we can give it a name as in stock okay. so i am giving this name because in this name contains two words and i'll show you how to use this okay query and what we can do is return query where quantity is greater than zero yeah now we can use this in stock method here and we can chain it here like this we can chain it like this yeah and we don't need to if we use it like this also it will work so i'll show you here yeah and in stock means whose quantity is greater than zero yeah and if i refresh the page here now we will be seeing all those products that have quantity greater than zero here three one one two four for one yeah you can see all the products so any products with the zero quantity will not be shown here this also works and if i give a small letter in the beginning then also it works so as i said that in psp the methods are case insensitive so you can use it any way you like but just let's be consistent okay so we'll be using camel case in all the methods so we have done it like this yeah now what we want to say is we can again encapsulate these into one method so these two indicates that only the products that can be bought by the user now we can again com combine these two and create another scope public function can be bought Now I am doing this because we can also use those, those scopes inside this product model. Okay. Return query active and stock. So if we return it like this, so it will return the product that are active and that are in stock. Now what we can do is we can use this scope only can be bought. Now we can use products that can be bought and get only those products that can be bought and if i go ahead and refresh the page here so it will give us all the products whose quantity is greater than zero and those are active now if we see here all the actives are shown here and all those quantity uh, greater than zero are shown here so false are not shown here and those with the quantity zero are not shown here so this is how you make local scopes and use it so you can use it now wherever in other point or other controllers or other part of the project you want to use only show the products that can be bought by the user then you can just call this method so you don't have to call this uh, this where you can use where this this becomes a little bit long so now we can make our controller a little bit more cleaner okay this is how you use local scopes now let's see how to use global scopes so for that let's go into the documentation you can see here global scopes yeah also the laravel doesn't provide us a psp artisan command to create our scope so we have to create it by ourselves so what basically global scopes does is whenever we run any query this scope will automatically be applied to that query i'll show you the query as well so let's see the, that in action and we'll know how we'll know what it means now let me remove this active scope for now 
and also let me remove this yeah now i will be showing you one query and we'll see what that result will be whenever we apply global scope so let me dump and die and product and let us use this in stock okay stock and to sql so the s to sql basically gives us the sql query of this statement now if i go here and refresh the page now you can see here select all from products where quantity is greater than something so this is a query binding now we can also see the bindings like this let's move this into a variable we can also give multiple parameters to this dd query get bindings and if i come here and refresh the page now you can see here this is the parameter that we that is passed here by laravel okay so basically it means that select all from products where quantity is greater than zero this is the query that runs when we are applying this product in stock statement now what happens if we apply a global scope so for that we need to create one global scope let's create for that for active one okay so let us go into documentation and let us just copy this code and let us create it inside app scopes and let's say active scope.php so i have created a folder inside this app folder and inside that active scopes class so if i paste the code here so it is saying age scope let us write active scope and this will make is underscore active to true so this is a global scope now how to apply this global scopes let us see here so wherever we want to apply this global scope we can do it like this we have to go to the model where we want to apply this global scope and we have to let us define that method here and public static function booted so this is the method that laravel gives us internally so we have to override it and static add global scope new scope yeah so this class is imported here as you can see here okay now we have applied this global scope to this product so now whenever we call any query on this product model then this scope will be applied and if we call if we, if we are only calling this product in stock then also this is active query will be applied now let's see that in action now if i go to the browser and you can see here in the home controller we haven't written here where active is equals to true in this statement yeah so now if we go here and refresh the page now you can see here this extra query is also applied so it is saying select all from products where quantity is greater than zero and is active is true so this is coming from the global scope so if i comment this out and again go to the browser and refresh the page now you can see here that query is gone yeah so now whenever we access any data from the product so always we'll get the active products only so i would not recommend you to use this everywhere in your project yeah so if you extremely need this then only use this okay because suppose let's say whenever a new developer comes and join your group and if she sees that uh, this query yeah if she sees this query let's say get so there is something like this in your code and whenever she sees it she will be only thinking that she will be getting only those products that are in stock whether it is active or not okay so it this is not showing us the active query and if she goes and 
if she want to see the results then she will see the results but the results will not match because internally it is also applying that active one yeah and she's not seeing any inactive products so this will make her in confusion so any new developers that comes and joins your group will be totally be in confusion when they see this code so i will recommend you not to use that but if you need it extremely in some cases then only use it otherwise don't use it now in some part of the code you might not want to apply the global scope so you can do it like this so you can pass this here as well as the beginning of the code so let's apply it in the beginning without global scope and we can give it the scope class name now if i come here and refresh the page so you will see as you can see here is active false is also being shown here true is also shown and false is also shown so both active and inactive products are being shown so today we have discussed about scopes in laravel in tomorrow's video we'll be talking about collections so if i show you i have also shown you in my previous video but if i show you here if we are getting any results from the eloquent model product in this case the result will always be in collection so you can see here illuminate database eloquent collection yeah so basically it is a wrapper for an array and it provides so many useful methods so we'll be seeing that in our next video so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye